it is my great privilege now to introduce one of our ASB officers, Eli Bliss. A few weeks ago, when I was asked a speaker today, I didn't have the slightest clue what I was about to talk about. But not being the person to say no, I agreed. I looked around trying to find inspiration, maybe one of the many independent reading projects in Mr. Nelson's room would help me. But after a few moments of contemplating, I decided that comp comparing high school to great expectations was too cliche. I looked up and only got frustrated at the crooked and uneven ceiling tiles, and then I noticed the stares of the giant literary masterminds above me. Frederick Douglass, John Steinbeck, and Dante. I began to sink into my chair, now feeling the weight of the agreement I just made. Looking down, thinking I just discovered a new circle of hell Dante hadn't, dis hadn't mentioned, I contemplated what I could possibly say. Luckily for me, it was a wood cookie Wednesday, and I, what I found myself looking at was three years of outdoor school experiences. Looking at my wood cookie, I began to think that though we never realized it, we were fashioning our own wood cookies, emblazoned with beads of our achievements since freshman year. We arrived on the first day as bundles of anticipation and nerves, excited yet terrified of high school. At the end of that day, we left the school with our first bead of many to come, a small black bead which signified we had survived our first day. The next day, we arrived at school feeling confident in our ability as high schoolers, that lasted a solid five minutes, though, after the upperclassmen came and told us who really ruled the school. That day, though, we left with our second bead, a small orange one, signifying we had finished our first real day. Armed with nothing but our wood cookies and our orange and black beads, we took on high school like gladiators. And like gladiators, we welcomed several firsts, our first homecoming of many, and though we would never take homecoming, each gladiator-shaped bead that we claimed would remind us that there is never a shortage of friends to call on for help. Our first spirit week, off with a bumpy start, with each class chant that resembled the awkward silence after one of Mr. Zerzan's corny jokes. Always learning from our lessons, we soon proved to be a spirit week threat. Each year we collected new beads to remind us of spirit week. A Scooby-Doo-shaped bead freshman year, a Space Needle replica sophomore year, dancing shoes junior year, and a Death Star to go with our first place trophy this year. And who could forget the countless beads we harvested representing our failure to produce a class chant after four years. Much like outdoor school, we came here for classes. With each class came a new set of challenges. We faced loads of homework, difficult lessons, and the occasional pop quiz. We asked questions like, what's the difference between meiosis and mitosis? Uh, why are we learning about imaginary numbers, Ms. Prom? And what would my grade be if I just skipped the final? And though there were many times when we thought we wouldn't make it out of the class alive, each time we finished it, earning it another bead to boast. And with the bead, we learned the greatest lesson. If you are willing to put in the effort, nothing is impossible. Class proved to be the environment to push our limits. At times where we tested our limits most, we often found the greatest rewards. The first time we stayed up all night to finish a project that our teacher told us couldn't be done in one night, for example. That we proudly boast with our coffee cup shaped beads. A Netflix shaped bead for, representing the first time we binge watched the series of our choice before touching the mountain of homework that we were assigned. And most importantly, a planner shaped bead to remind us of each time we asked to go to the bathroom but really just wandered the halls aimlessly trying to avoid class. While we always say how much we are looking forward to being done with high school and everything that comes with it, we all have those activities that, are go that we are going to miss. Each in turn memorializes beads on our wood cookies. For some of us, we have musical notes representing our passion for band or choir. For others, we have footballs, soccer balls, basketballs, volleyballs, golf balls, baseballs, frisbees, softballs, pom-poms, uh, dance shoes, running shoes, swimsuits, singlets, or hurdles to represent our sports team. On the other hand, we have robots, pencils, paint palettes, shuriken, rainbows, cameras, magic cards, keys, or torches, symbolizing our favorite clubs and activities. Whatever the case may be, and whatever our interests may be, we have learned that all work and no play makes life dull. We found our interests, and we found our passions, and in so, we found our people. 
Along the way, we've grown attached to several inspiring teachers who have rewarded us with special beads to remind us of the lessons that they have taught. From Mr. Kuntz, inspiring us to travel the world and venture out of our comfort zones, to Miss Bailey, returning to teach us that there is no place like home. From Miss Prom, showing us that you can do anything if you work hard enough, to Mr. Rich, teaching us that it's okay to hang loose and enjoy life. From Mr. Nelson, who has prepared us for the storms ahead, to Mr. Zerzan, who reminds us with every corny joke that there is always a reason to smile. The greatest achievement that we have made together, though, isn't a lesson, but a concept. Friendship. Like the last night at Outdoor School, where we gave the furry pushkas to the person we thought made our week the best, we now turn to our friends and exchange pushkas here. To the friend who stood by us at our best and at our worst, through the breakups, the death of loved ones, the loss, and through this wild journey we have taken, we now leave this place with bonds that will never be lost. It's funny how looking at us now, it's a lot like the bus ride home from outdoor school. We've all matured since we first left, and we all feel a bit beaten up and exhausted. We're going to miss our friends and our teachers, the songs, and even the food, but we look forward to what's coming next. Full of memories and stories to tell, with only our wood cookies, beads, and some dull pencils as proof. In 10 years, when we come together again to reminisce, I'm excited to see what new beads we'll have collected along the way. Class of 2016, it has been an honor to call you my friends, my teammates, my classmates, my fellow gladiators. Remember, be kind to each other, it's cool to get A's, have a great day.